Hi, Sam. Hi, Trinity Art Club painters. Uh, this follow-up of uh, last night's lesson, uh, class number one, uh, where we're dealing with uh, our palette. Former of all three of these. All right for our exercise to get our three primaries. So we're going to take the deep red rose out. We're going to take the l yellow light uh, lemon out. And we're going to take the phalo blue out. And we'll put these on our palette. And my ultramarine blue is right there. I got a sloppy palette. I'm actually in the middle of another painting. Alright, so we'll put, and the way I arrange my palette, I keep my blues together, I keep my browns and earth tones together, my reds and my yellows, and up here normally is a whole host of greens, but I'm uh, experimenting making my own greens. Alright, and CAD red light. Normally we would want medium, uh, so that would go right here, actually, actually down here. I can tell those two are not the same color, and it's not the brand I use, but it's it's close enough. The CAD I use rimming, uh, Rembrandt CAD red light, uh, and CAD yellow medium. Da Vinci. I use Da Vinci, and so this is exactly what I use. I mean, it's the same same color that I have in my palette. I won't fill in the remaining because we don't need them. <clears throat> so what we're going to do? Uh, take a brush. Doesn't matter what style, and we we'll go through the types of brushes, and so we we'll use this uh, bright or flat. I mean. Uh, remember the only difference between flat and bright is the length of the bristles. It's a square as opposed to a filbert. Remember the filbert is, uh, I don't know which way it shows that best, is, is rounded. Alright, it's uh, literally as if you took a round and pushed it flat you would create a uh, curve. So, it doesn't matter which, matter of fact, I think I will use my filbert. I just like filberts. All right, and so what we want to do is we want to get our primaries in. And we'll also take a pencil. You can either do it now or a little later. I don't care. But we want to do it. We're going to number our, so this would be 12, and think of a clock. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right? Okay, you can follow that. Uh, you can either use a little terpenoid, which is a odorless mineral spirit. It's been refined to take out all of the bad uh, smells and what's harmful to you. It's you still wouldn't want to drink it. And thin down, and so we'll start with our yellow and we'll paint in our yellow. Alright, nothing to it. Looks like I have a dirty brush. You don't even have to be exact. Some of you will be more than others, our personality. But try to get pretty thick so that you're not seeing the white canvas below. And this yellow is an opaque, means that it is opaque. You can't see through it if you put it on as thick as you can. Some paints you put them on thick as you can. And, all right, so the next, clean your brush, wipe your brush, or actually, if you have, uh, the way I do it, remember in class, well, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to grab another brush, and I'm going to do the exact same thing for my red. And red is at 
position number 8 so we're going to do position number 12, position number 4, and position number 8 and we'll take our red what we're going to treat as our primary red even though it's not really perfect that's okay we're beginning painters and if we end up being and that red covers a lot better than the yellow all right so two down then I'm gonna get a third brush uh, another filbert well actually it's a round I don't have a, I don't see a small, I have another one, I just don't know where it's at. Alright, and so now we're going to take, let's see, we've got our yellow, our red, and so that must be our blue. And so at position number four, paint in um, our blue. I'm going to leave it on the screen. Normally I put this, get this, I'm sitting way too far back to and I need some little medium to help it go in there a little better to help me cover it easier so we're trying to get as close to the pure primary colors as we can and these are pretty good not perfect but pretty dang good and so now we're one-fourth of the way done with our color wheel okay pretty good so what we're gonna do next we can either create number now what we're gonna do now I'm gonna go ahead and number those so I don't have to do it from memory uh, 7 8 9 10 11 all right so in we're either gonna do position 2 6 or 10 2 10 or 6 2, 6, and 10, which are the secondary colors. And the secondary colors is nothing more than adding the yellow, yellow, and blue to get our green, adding our blue and our red to get violet, adding our red and orange to get, our, I'm sorry, adding our red and yellow to get orange. All right, so now I'm going to use one of these three. Uh, I think I'll use my red and my blue, I use my red brush with my blue and this is the hardest color to mix the violet. As a matter of fact I have, I suggest that folks uh, buy violet because it is so hard to and I'm not even gonna, I'm, uh, here we go so there is my violet and the way you can really tell violet and I'm just going to do this well here so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here later so let's go ahead and I wish I had you do that earlier um, yellow was our first color we put on oops I skipped one and blue so we'll get it slightly out of order here all right and then red so as we put them up here put your paint uh, splotch right here and we'll come back and I'll show you what we're going to do with those later mm. all right so anyway we're gonna oh well I got a little too much red in there that's fine And again, the hardest color for you to mix that you're going to like is violet. It is, for at least for me, I, maybe there are some folks out there that can do it really well. I can't. And what I was going to show you, and what we're going to do is we're going to take it a little bit and mix. Well, that's a lot. So over here, there's a little bit. And we're going to take and mix just a lot of white with it and put it right there and then we're going to mix very little and put it right here nope. 
me do it over and you just keep playing with it all right so there's what that'll look like with some white no I wanted to do just a little white there and then what I want you to do is match halfway in between so add some white and you get a color halfway in between the really light white and the alright so you just All right, so now we'll do this color. And to do that color, is simply take the color that we mixed here and add more red to it. And that gives us our red violet. Okay. We won't put this will keep just for our primaries and secondaries. We won't put tertiary, right? Now we're doing a tertiary. And so now to get that, we would add more blue to the, to the original color of this. And that would be our blue-violet. Needs a little more. And again, this will be the hardest one you guys will do. Sorry about that. All right, sorry about that. Back again. So anyway, again, the violets, uh, all three of them, the hardest ones to do. Greens and oranges will have a lot more success. So don't give up. We sh I should have started with the easier ones. Do the best you can here. And again, we're not going to put tertiary colors over here. These are just going to be our primary and secondary colors. Hopefully we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. And we have one more down at the bottom. That's good. All right. So anyway, we have a violet, a red violet, and a blue violet. All right. I'm going to clean my brush. And since it's a dark color, I'm going to do the green with the same brush I have. I'm saved. Saved my yellow. I'll do the green or the orange uh, with my yellow brush. So here we go. We want to add blue and yellow so we take some blue take our blue and yellow blue and yellow and blue and yellow gives us green and so the theory works and we've proved it and that's probably too dark a green that's probably a blue closer to a blue green so the way I lighten is not by using white, but by using yellow. Alright, because we're trying to get secondary colors. Secondary colors are not created by adding white. Although, well, somebody wants to talk to me. Alright, so there we go. We got number two done try to get rid of all the white of the canvas all right and so had I had some left and I don't I don't have enough left but we would have then added yellow to it and created a yellow green I think I'm gonna have enough for the yellow green I probably won't have enough for the blue green all right oh I forgot to put our green down there oh all right so I'll go back and put our green and a little white to it here in a minute going a little too fast because my camera only allows me 12 minutes of recording and so I'm going faster and not thinking about what I'm doing uh, so now a blue green
and there's our blue green take your time take a little more time than I am because I'm rushing I've done this now this is I don't know my 10 or 20th 15 million times so I've got it you guys need all right so it may not show up on the camera real well because of the lighting but we got a green a yellow green and a blue green all right so now I'm gonna take the yellow brush and we're gonna create orange orange is yellow and red all right yellow and red that's way too orange or red orange that's pretty good maybe a little more yellow all right yep that's pretty good orange we'll put it right down there there's our orange and that goes in position number 10. all right Now we're going to take a little white to that, just a little, not too much, and we're going to put that right here. So that's our orange with just a little white, a little too much white. And here's our orange with a, a lot of white. And that's what we're going to do there. And then we want to try to get one right in the middle. there so we're we're creating different values of our primary and secondary colors that's what we're trying to do here okay all right so that takes our all right now the same batch I've run out so now we'll make a red orange And that looks like a red orange, almost a red orange. Maybe a little more red. Maybe a little too much red. There we go, red orange. And if you're having trouble, get, grab your color wheel and try to match it against the color wheel, right? You'll get close. Uh, or at least try to get as close as you can. Alright, so now we've got a red, or oh, we weren't going to put secondaries down there. So again, I went a little too fast. Alright, so there we go. We only got one left. So what do we got here? That's simply nothing more than yellow. Mixed in that, a lot of yellow. Oop, need more yellow. Pretty close there. I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not. Actually, I need a little more yellow. And if you get it too dark up there, just simply grab your yellow and go straight up here and mix on your support. And our support is a 9 by 12 and we showed we learned how to do that all right so there we go our color wheels done now what I want you to do is down here uh, add ooh, let's see what I want you to do I want you to add the complementary color of orange and complementary color of orange remember we learned that it's the opposite color on the color wheel or an easier way to remember it is the color that has the missing primary. So orange, in this case orange, number 10, uh, I pointed 11 earlier, ignore that. We're going to go, I don't know where is that, yeah orange. So orange, number 10, a pr secondary color, is made up of yellow and red. Well the thing that's missing in a secondary color is blue. It's always missing. The complement is always 
always has the missing primary color. So it's blue. And so we'll take uh, our orange here and mix in blue with it. And since I had a really yellow orange, I'm ending up with green. But there it is. That's what I'm looking for. And so now what I've got is sort of a dull green. All right. And then I want you to add white to that. A little or a lot, whatever you think. Not, not too much. I don't want it to get really on the light side. And so there we go. All right. And so these two you're simply going to fill in in between those as best you can. And over here you're going to write the name. So or we would write orange right there. The word orange. O, and we'll just use OR. Actually, we'll just use O. 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 And this is B. And this is Y. And that's V. And that's an R. And that's a G. And ignore that bottom one. We'll do that uh, in another class. Alright, so continue doing that. Finish your, finish your uh, grid down here. This is real important. All right. This is literally where you will start seeing the different shades, tints, and tones that you have in that three color palette. Now, if you're really, really interested, then do this same thing again using the other three tubes that we haven't used and treat them as your primary and then compare the two. And you will see that you end up being able to create tons and tons and tons uh, of different hues with different values, different hues, tints and tones, and you will be, I hope, amazed, and you will use this for a long time in our class. So keep it. Now, one other thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a Star of David. You can get a ruler after it dries. Anyway, I want you to draw a straight line between 10 and 2, and then down to 6. And so that triangle, can you see it? That triangle is our secondary colors. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go from 12 to 8, 8 to 4, and 4 to 12, or 12 to 4. And so what we end up with is a Star of David that shows our primary colors at 12, 4, and 8. Our secondary colors, colors at 10, 2, and 6. I'll have to go down here now. My other camera cut off my... So, you with me? You're following? So we'll have a Star of David, and that's our primary and secondary colors. And let's see if we can't name them now. Yellow. Yellow-green. Green. Blue-green. Blue. Blue-violet. Green, blue, blue Violet. Red-violet. Red. Red-orange. Red, red, orange. And yellow-orange finish your pattern and thank you very much you guys are awesome and we'll see you next week goodbye